Here we are for another episode of the series Sanctified with a Psalm. Today we're looking at Psalm 57 and hymn 503 from the LSB. That's 503 from the Lutheran Service Book. My name's Pastor Gordon Allen of Trinity Lutheran Church in Scarsdale, New York. You can find us at trinityscarsdale.org. Grace and peace be to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ who went to the cross for us, that is, he shed his blood for us, suffering and died, taking our sentence for our sin, and also, therefore, appropriating this to each and every one of us who have been baptized by baptizing us in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, adopting us to be his children, promising that in this rite of baptism, the blood of Christ washes us clean. That's where the word baptize comes from. It's why we're washed. We're washed in the blood of the Lamb. The Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, as St. John the Baptist said it, to serve God and his Father, having been declared kings and priests to him, be all glory, honor, and dominion. This is most certainly true, so let it be. Psalm 57. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful to me. For in you my soul takes refuge. In the shadow of your wings I will take refuge till the storms of destruction pass by. I cry out to God most high, to God who fulfills his purpose for me. He will send from heaven and save me. He will put to shame him who tramples on me. God will send out his steadfast love and his faithfulness. My soul is in the midst of lions. I lie down amid fiery beasts, the children of man whose teeth are spears and arrows, whose tongues are sharp swords. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. They set a net for my steps. My soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my way, but they have fallen into it themselves. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and make melody. Awake, my glory. Awake, O harp and lyre. I will awake the dawn. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your steadfast love is great to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. We sing in joyful response hymn 503. O day full of grace that now we see appearing on us horizon, bring light from our God that we may be replete in his joy this season. God shine for us now in this dark place, your name on our hearts emblazon. O day full of grace, O blessed time, our Lord on the earth arriving. Then came to the world that light sublime, great joy for us all retrieving. For Jesus, O mortals, did embrace all darkness and shame removing. For Christ bore our sins and not his own when he on the cross was hanging. And then he arose and moved the stone that we unto him belonging might join with angelic hosts to raise our voices in endless singing. 
God came to us then at Pentecost, his spirit new life revealing, that we might no more from him be lost, all darkness for us dispelling. His flame will the mark of sin face and bring to us all his healing. When we on that final journey go, that Christ is for us preparing, we'll gather in song our hearts aglow, all joy of the heaven sharing, and walk in the light of God's own place, with angels his name adoring. So let's pray. I am a sinner, Lord. Please forgive me. Remind me that by your suffering and death, again, by your stripes, by your pain, by your sacrifice, I am saved. I possess salvation. Thank you that this grace alone saves. And Lord, sanctify me in this truth. Your word is the truth, and as the truth sets me free, so does your word set me free. This is most certainly true, so let it be. We are free now to live with God as he promises to live with us. By faith we trust in him. We trust that salvation truly is a gift, and we trust that we are in the Lord as he is in us and promises to live in us and with us. And the Lord be with you the rest of your day. And we hope you'll join us again soon for another episode of this series, Sanctified with a Psalm. Take care.